Hey all my beanie weenies and welcome back to my channel. I am of course the voice of hot dogs and we are back for another audio only episode of The Sims 4 The Challenge Battle of the Seasons. And when we last left off on Monday, we kind of left on a little cliffhanger as everyone died. However, I did resuscitate everyone. They're all back to normal. And instead of completely starting over, we're just going to have those remaining 10 house guests that died in the pool compete once again in our swimming competition here at the arena. All right, so we previously saw Jerry was the first one eliminated. Um, he is, of course, on Team Big Brother US. And then he was soon followed by Yolanda and Allison, uh, both of them being from Are You the One and Love Island. Then followed by that, we have Sunny and Donnie. Of course, Sunny is from Are You the One? And Donnie is from Big Brother US as well. Uh, that's completely eliminating the Big Brother US team. However, we see that Natalie has somehow made her way back into the arena. So I had to tell her to get on out of here. All right. And then we have Tina and Fabio from uh, Survivor eliminated as well. So competing today for Survivor, we're going to have Nina and Bella. And then all of Team RuPaul's Drag Race is still left in the game. And then from Are You The One, we're going to have Ariel and Jay Young competing. And then apart from Allison, we have the remaining three members of Team Love Island competing in today's competition. That, of course, being Marcus, Joffrey, and Vivian. And that makes up our 10 competing Sims in today's challenge. Hopefully, no one dies this time around. <laughs> and if they do, maybe we could still have a winner and continue on with the game. I didn't expect this to be the most deadly competition, but... I guess it is. I mean, when we said the challenge, I meant it. They are battling for their lives. All right, so to speed this up, uh, I did turn autonomy on. That way, they'll get out of the pool if they need to, and hopefully it'll prevent, prevent some deaths. I never really know if to keep it on or off because it's really hard to control the Sims that are not competing in the game. So you see that they all just kind of ran off and are starting to do their own thing. However, so are the Sims in the pool. So we see that Jay Young and Joffrey are the first to kind of start swimming around and talking, and then everyone slowly one by one starts kind of pairing up swimming around having a little bit of conversations and not just staring in one direction <laughs> In the recap, I also completely forgot to mention how Yolanda from Team Are You The One and Jerry from Team Big Brother US, because they were the first two contestants to be eliminated in this competition, they got eliminated from the game completely and were sent home. Yeah, things got pretty crazy and I completely just missed that <laughs> when uh, everyone died. That was my main focus. but. Yeah, those two, they're out of here. However, it's not just chit chat for too long. As we see, eventually we have our first eliminated players of the day. That being Joffrey from Team Love Island and Bianca from Team RuPaul. Both of them are now completely out of the game and will not be winning for their team today. Now, whoever does win this competition will win for their entire team, granting them immunity from elimination. We see that Marcus is just now eliminating himself. Ooh, wow, that sounded interesting. Um, <laughs> and now we are only down to one player left for Team Love Island. Uh, however, we are now losing two players, ironically, that being the couple, Jay Young and Ariel from Team Are You The One, uh, and now, I think now, Are You The One is completely out of the running to win immunity. I debated if BB was going to be eliminated or not, the way she was kind of looking at the exit of the pool for a while, but inevitably she does decide to leave the game, and that leaves us with just Aquaria and Jinx competing for RuPaul. 
and Team Love Island is officially eliminated from the competition as Vivian leaves the pool, closely followed by Jinx from RuPaul, and that only leaves Aquaria left. And now we are down to our final three. Aquaria of Team RuPaul's Drag Race, and Bella and Nina from Team Survivor. Now, they did do this competition in Survivor, so this is not their first time competing in this kind of a challenge. And maybe that gave Nina a little bit of a advantage in the game, as she does end up being our sole survivor in this competition, winning for Team Survivor. I gotta say, Team Survivor is crushing it. They keep winning these challenges, and maybe it's because uh, they similarly fought uh, in similar competitions in their season. However, so did Big Brother, and they're basically being eliminated one after another. So it's kind of interesting how these two teams are kind of like I don't know. They're so similar, but their results are so vastly different. But this does mean that Team Survivor will be immune for another elimination. Uh, however, they are also going to be responsible for picking who goes into the eviction challenge later on in the episode. But for right now, let's go on over to the house and see what our contestants get into now that they're able to be home and relax. We see that a lot of them are straight to bed. I would be too. I mean, they've all died and come back to life, so I'm sure they're a little bit tired. We see that our winner, Nina, is tucked away tightly in bed. However, there is still a few house guests lingering on. We see Tina cooking up some salad in the kitchen. We see BB is watching her while Bella just sits in the living room by herself. And now we can kind of look at the updated memory wall. All right, so because Jerry was eliminated in the last challenge, that left Donnie being the sole player left in Team Big Brother USA. And because Yolanda was eliminated, that kind of left a gap open in Team Are You The One. So I went ahead and made Donnie join that team. So now Team Are You The One consists of Jay Young, Ariel, Sunny, and now Donnie. However, if Donnie were to get to the end of the season and win, he would be winning for Team Big Brother USA. I just kind of put him in that team to kind of keep all the numbers even and situations and everything. It was just a little bit easier. But we do see Donnie now having his first night in bed in Team Are You The One's room. And that is going to conclude this night's events as everyone is now tucked in nice and tight in bed. And we're going to fast forward a little bit on to the next day. And while we're at it, of course, go ahead and like this video, share it, subscribe so you get all the latest videos. Again, we're going to have three episodes a week until we conclude this season. And of course, comment down below because I love all my beanie weenies and I love talking to you guys. So let me know what you thought of the swimming challenge. What do you think of Team Survivor completely dominating everything? All that kind of stuff. Let me know all your opinions down below. All right. So we we see that back in the challenge house, everyone is kind of waking up to a huge mess. We see a lot of the appliances in the kitchen are now completely busted, and no one is really rushing to fix them. They're of course willing to mop, but it's not really going to do much if no one fixes the sink. I was worried for Jay Young there for a minute, as she got kind of stuck. We see that Jinx is playing some video games. Meanwhile, downstairs, we see Tina and Fabio having a little bit of a Team Survivor meeting in the gym. Fabio seems to be giving Tina some workout advice before she starts hitting that bag. And he goes on and heads over and gets on the treadmill for a nice little running session to get the blood pumping. Now, Team Survivor did win that challenge, and later on in this episode, Episode, they will be deciding who goes to face elimination. We see that a lot of the house guests are still taking turns cleaning up. We see Joffrey and Sunny are in the bathroom cleaning up the sink while Jay Young is doing some laundry. Uh, however, a lot of the appliances, why 
<laughs> Whatever. Appliances are broken, and usually Donnie is the first to go ahead and fix those. However, he is busy giving Bella a hand massage. He looks really sad doing it, and she looks to be in a little bit of pain. And outside, we see that Joffrey is taking some time practicing his bartending skills by the pool. In the kitchen, we see that that sink did get fixed eventually, and again, that Sunny and Nina relationship continues to blossom. Again, right now, it's mostly just friendly, but I'm keeping my eye on them because I think something might go down, especially now that Yolanda is out of the house. We see that upstairs on the roof, we have Jinx, Bianca, and Tina all taking turns on the water slide. Now again, I love the idea of a water slide being on the edge of a roof. If only there was an option for them to go sliding completely off the house, I would love that. And of course, unfortunately for me, there is no real wipeouts at all. Everyone is kind of doing it successfully, which is a bit of a bummer. I wanted to see some fails. We see that Bella is having a good time watching, <laughs> and she's still in her nightgown. Everyone is mostly still in their pajamas. They're either in their pajamas or they're in their swimwear. We see downstairs, there's a big group of people forming in the gym, but not to work out. Instead, they're watching the only TV we have in the house. Meanwhile, in the back there, we see that people are doing some yoga. Fabio is still on the treadmill. However, However, upstairs on the roof, Ariel is taking a nice outdoor shower. Now, a lot of the house guests uh, don't use these showers, which I find kind of interesting. I guess it's because they're a bit out in the open, obviously, but I think it'd be a little bit relaxing. They would much rather use the one that's downstairs in the sauna or in a private bathroom, but I don't know. It's a pretty great view to have while you're taking a shower. Uh, we see that the laundry is not really getting done. People keep taking it out and leaving it on the floor and having to put it back in the dryer. But then when they put it back in the dryer, it's now soiled. I don't know. The whole laundry day thing is a bit complicated in The Sims. I can't tell if I like it or I hate it. It's kind of the same with the vacuuming. Like, I kind of like the vacu vacuuming. I also kind of despise it and always turn it off. I don't know. We see that, again, <laughs> Bella gets the clothes out of the dryer and puts them on the ground, even though they're wet, and then complains about it. Um, yeah, they're still wet. You never turned it on. I don't know. It's kind of frustrating. So instead of following the cycle of them failing to clean the house, I go ahead and invite myself over, and we're going to get down to business and figure out who Team Survivor is going to vote into elimination. Now again, Team Survivor has picked every single contestant that goes into the elimination challenge so far. They've been really dominating this game. However, if they lose the next immunity challenge, I don't think they're making that many friends. So potentially I could see a few of them getting voted in as well. And then if they don't uh, win that elimination challenge, they could be going home. So just because they're dominating now doesn't mean they're going to dominate forever. However, let's see who they do choose to compete in tonight's challenge. So first up, we have Tina coming into the voting booth. And of course, like always, we're going to look at her relationship statuses, see who she's closest to, see who she's least closest to, and that's who she is going to be voting for elimination. All right, so based on that, Tina has decided to vote Marcus in to elimination. So Marcus will be heading into the arena tonight, but he will not be alone. Let's go ahead and call Bella into the voting booth and see who she picks. Alright, and Bella has chosen Joffrey. 
So right now we have two members of Team Love Island competing to the death. That's going to be Marcus and Joffrey. However, we still have two more spots open. Let's go ahead and see who Fabio votes for. All right, and Fabio has voted for Jinx. So right now, that is going to be our first member of Team RuPaul's Drag Race competing tonight against the two members of Love Island, Marcus and Joffrey. One more spot left, one more vote left to be had, and that is going to be from Nina. Let's go ahead, let's look at her relationship statuses, and let's see who she's going to vote for. All right, and Nina has voted for Ariel. So that leaves our four contestants competing in tonight's elimination challenge. They are Marcus, Joffrey, Jinx, and Ariel. You guys will compete head to head, and potentially two or more of you, who knows, who knows? A number of you will be leaving tonight. You see that I accidentally made Nina go over there. Uh, had to swap that around but now okay now we have all four of them here standing next to me and you know what sorry guys but i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here today however like always i post every monday wednesday and friday so come back on friday where, where you will see my beautiful hot doggy face here on camera and we will be seeing which one of the four of these contestants will be going home who do you want to see go home who do you think was going to win what do you think of the series so far i gotta say this episode has been so hard to film because I cannot talk and put a sentence together. I don't know. I need, to, I need to do some mouth exercises before this, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, but with that, I'm going to go ahead and end today's episode. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.